Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back everybody. Today I've got some more Playground Mode on Fortnite Battle Royale for you guys. Now I'm sad to say that Playground Mode is no longer in the game as of right now. It was taken out at the end of Season 4 because today is actually the first day of Season 5. We got our brand new battle pass. We got some changes to the map that I want to talk about a little bit. But let's talk about this real quick. This is one of my most ambitious ideas yet in terms of Playground. I know I haven't done a lot on this yet, but this is something that I really wanted to do. It kind of popped into my head. How about destroying Tilted Towers, at least the middle of it. I left some of the side buildings uh, still intact. Destroying all the middle buildings like Trump Tower and the apartment building, stuff like that. Got rid of those, and I'm going to replace it with a huge mansion, which is probably going to be like three times the size of the one that I built in Pleasant Park the other day. So way more ambitious, guys, and just slowly but surely starting to learn the tendencies of how to build some houses in Fortnite. Again, it's there's not a whole lot you can do with it, um, but it's still fun trying to create something in the game that looks completely different from the regular map. And speaking of the regular map, the map has changed as well. We got a desert area now. For season five got rid of my favorite place to land moisty mire i'm actually really sad that moisty has gone but i am glad that they at least replaced it with something cool um obviously that being the desert map so um yeah i mean i i think that's kind of expected after everybody saw that der burger head in the desert in california in real life which is kind of a crazy way to market it fortnite does a great job with their viral marketing that's for sure so yep yeah, looking forward to building some new things uh, in the new areas of the map for Season 5. I plan on doing some cool stuff with the desert biomes for some Playground. Once, of course, Playground returns. And it is expected to be permanent, so I'm expecting that Playground will be back in the game, hopefully within the next like week or so, with some cool new features as well. So let's cross our fingers on that, that it's not out of the game too long. In the meantime, we'll just play the regular mode. But I have one more Playground video that I recorded yesterday, just before they took it out of the game, made sure that I got my last little bit in here, and it's this mansion. So... Um, anyway, uh, there's also, they also added the, um, I think it was, what is it called? The Lazy Lynx, which is like a little golf course where Anarchy Acres used to be. So if you're a big fan of Anarchy Acres, sorry for, sorry for that as well. Um, definitely some big changes to the map for Season 5. I was hoping they would get rid of the Divot, but they filled it in with a lot of trees, so it's basically just like wailing woods in the middle of the map, so that's okay. I guess it's better than it just being like this no man's land. So, yeah, I will see what happens with that going forward. I guess they'll continue to kind of add vegetation and, like, regrow the land over the divot. So, we'll see. But, yeah, uh, building here this mansion, using a couple of different tactics that I didn't go with first episode of Playground Mode. Um, two tall roof. So, we just went with uh, two, I guess, ramps high on the roof on each side, which made a four-block wide exterior. Um, so, definitely a lot bigger. I went with more of a symmetrical look. As you're seeing right now, I'm starting to fill in some of the sidewalls of the of each of the wings of the house. And then starting to fill in some of these roof designs. I did what I said last episode, where I actually replaced the ramp roofs with the ones that, you know, you edit with the triangles. And that, that would just work a lot better because then I was able to edit them on the fly instead of having to, you know, replace the edit. So that was, that was really nice. It sped up the process a little bit. And I almost ran out of time on this, guys. It took me about 20 minutes to destroy Tilted by myself, as you guys saw at the beginning. And then it took about 40 minutes to build this thing. And I'm finishing the interior of this, you're going to see in a second, right as the storm is flooding over Tilted. It's like a tsunami. You'll see it in a second. But, um, yeah, I'm also going to show you guys a little bit of some of the stuff that I did with the interior design. I mean, there's literally not much you could do with it. But I, I went a little bit more advanced than I did for the last one. I think if I had a partner for this one, I probably would have been able to do a little bit more. Again, I ran out of time, but I don't have a problem with that. I actually really like how Playground Mode has a time limit. However, I think that's something that they will change for Playground Version 2 or whatever they're going to call it um, when that indeed comes out for Season 5. I think they're probably going to do a lot more options for eSports in terms of... Uh, oh, I'm dancing right here. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, always, it's always doing the dance. See, that's the best dance in the game, by the way. The true heart. I don't want to argue about it. But anyway, I digress. Talking about the playground mode, I expect them to make it so you can change the time limit and things like that. That's something that I don't think they're going to keep for the next mode. However, I did like the fact that it was only an hour because it kind of limited what you could do. But at the same time, you were almost like racing the clock. And I thought that was like fun that just made it interesting for me personally. So it's like, how much can I build in one hour? You know what I mean? I almost think that makes the builds even more impressive because you know you had to build them quickly you know what i mean and do some fun stuff with it so i've seen tons of videos on youtube of people doing some awesome stuff with playground mode whether it be um you know mario kart courses with the bounce pads and the ramps and the shopping carts which is cool i've, I've seen spleef 
as well on a couple of videos, which is sweet. Um, tons of stuff, bumper cars. So the possibilities seem to be endless with playgrounds. So I'm hoping that of course they make it permanent, which we all expect them to do. They've already announced that and you know, continue to add cool new features to it. Right now I'm just adding in kind of like a front foyer area using some of the wooden floors and kind of just turning them and creating almost like a balcony on the second level and then adding in a staircase below that to kind of connect to the top. But yeah, that's like kind of what we're working on here. Um, just still trying to like figure out exactly what I want to do for the insides of these houses. Again, it's kind of like, you know, it doesn't really matter that much. I think the exterior is just way more important when it comes to doing these Fortnite stuff. And honestly, all this stuff is really, you know, it doesn't matter that much because let's be real. I mean, you end the game and then you never get to see it again because you can't save your, your worlds. So I think that's something that I would like to see them add for playground mode. The next version of it is a way that you can save your maps to like, you have, if you make a cool build on it, you can come back to it. I don't know, like, and like watch it again. I know you, they have theater mode for that, but I don't know, maybe they'll play around with it. I honestly trust these devs a lot. Um, I, I have to admit that the, Epic Games developers, they really don't make a ton of mistakes with this game. Uh, I hated the jetpack, and I, I hated the jetpack with so much passion that I stopped playing the game for like two weeks while it was out. I just could not stand a dude flying straight up in the air and RPGing me. Couldn't stand it, so I stopped playing for a little while then. Um, and the guided missile was a little overpowered, but other than that, they've done a pretty good job making decisions. I know a lot of people hate the, how weak the shotguns are now, and I'm, I'm in that boat as well, but. As far as just your, like overall game design philosophy, I think these guys are, are really at the top of their game. I mean, wh what other developer is, is doing this right now, you know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good stuff, and I have a lot of faith in playground mode continuing to be great. And guys, that's going to wrap up the video as we see my mansion from an outside view getting swept away by the storm. And then we got a little dizzy fly around here. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Dan Lags. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.